All right, so this is Chad Harris with thegardengates.com. I'm here with my handy assistant right now, Mr. Ashton Harris. He has become the king of the Saber Girls. This is a first time cook on a, the, our new Saber 500 SS here at the store. We used to only cook on the cast, or I should say the P, the cast is behind me, the all black. So today we're doing some thin chicken breast. You can see the temperature is sky high on this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these chicken breasts, we're gonna cook them for just a bit here, and then we're gonna turn around, we're gonna throw some bacon we cooked earlier, we'll make some, oh, we'll call it like a New Orleans po' boy, with some jalapeno cheese and some bacon. It's turned out pretty good. So you can see, other than he's struggling <laughs> right here, you can see that the chicken quickly is already, I mean, it's, it's humming right along. So this is infrared cooking. You'll notice also that there's no flames. You can't see any flames down. So we've been just cooking here for just a few minutes. You can see here's a great example of how fast this grill cooks. You can also see that as the juices fall down, there's no flash fires. So that's great. What makes it nice is that you can actually close this lid and we'll even show you. We're gonna close this lid and we'll just let it go. So one of the great features of the Sabre Grills is their infrared cooking. It doesn't allow any flames to come in direct contact with your food. And so what happens is that you don't end up with flash fires, which makes it really simple. All right, so we've had this closed for, you know, maybe about 30 seconds. We're gonna open up the lid. And the first thing that you notice that we don't have anything on fire. So it's really simple for, you know, your kids to learn how to grill, your wife that might not be very, very, you know, friendly with a gas grill. Or what makes it even easier is that if you're just looking to start a grill up, we had this at temperature in seven minutes, and we're just gonna start to flip them over here. So I'm gonna get Ashton to flip this first thinnest one, smack dab in the middle. You can see it comes right off the grill. It's perfect, you saw the juices come right off of it. Let's go to this next smaller one right here, one in, perfect. You're gonna again see it comes right off the grill. See, we seasoned it earlier today for the first time, and let's come across here. Let's grab the small one here again. That was gonna have to go a little bit further, but you can see, I mean, perfect grill marks. And he's just gonna keep flipping these. And let's go to that thin one right there. So it has zonal cooking, and what we mean by zonal cooking, you can see we have these three sections of the grate, one, two, and three, and what that allows you to do is control the temperature from one zone to the next. So it makes it really simple if you want to cook vegetables on one side, steaks in the center, and maybe fish on the far side, you can easily, easily run different temperatures on the grill. One of the other things you'll notice is that because the grates, you don't come in direct contact with any of the flames, it's actually easier to cook vegetables on here because the vegetables themselves don't fall through. And we finally got them all flipped over. So we're gonna drop the lid all the way down. We're just gonna let it run. So here we go, this is the new Sabre Easy Temperature Gauge. We're gonna get Ashton to turn it on for us real quick. It's gonna turn it on, you can see it's pretty simple. All right, so we're gonna get him to set it to poultry by pressing the plus. Keep going there. Perfect, that's pork, now poultry now. Open it up. And let's go ahead and start checking some of our chicken here that we're using today. So, let's go in and probe in the first chicken. Turn it towards me. Let's see. All right, so our temperature, we're almost, 
Yeah, we're, we're almost there, so I'm gonna get him to check a couple of the other ones while we have it here on the grill. Maybe this one right there. Let's see how that is. Put it all the way in. Don't burn your hand there. All right, so we got a little bit ways to go on that one. But I can tell you already, I know that these thinner pieces are, that one's probably done. Let's check that. That one's ready, so let's take that and put it up on the top. We'll start pulling some of those off. So that's great. So you can see that the alarm goes off. It's real simple, real easy to operate. And when you're done, you can go ahead and actually just flip the thing over and put it in your pocket. All right, so you can see Ashton's checking this one here. What's pretty neat is that you can rotate it around so you can see the temperature. You can see the alarm goes off again, so we know that one's done. What makes it great is that, you know, obviously you never want to get sick from food and when you're cooking. And so someone that maybe not be as, uh, as experienced with cooking will be able to use this tool effectively. So as you can see, we're finishing up our grilling today. This was a herb crusted chicken that we marinated all morning. We cooked bacon earlier on the grill using the Easy Griddle. We followed up by grilling the chicken and using our Easy Temp temperature control to make sure that our food was all cooked. Now you can see we've actually turned the grill off. We're allowing the remaining heat to melt the cheese. We're keeping the moisture in the chicken and it's gonna turn out we've actually, we toasted our buns up top and we're trying to get the cheese to melt just by the leftover heat. So we're gonna close this down and we'll see how it turns out.